Hi everyone, it's Josh with the Halifax Watch Company here again, and today we are hands-on with the Frederic Constant High Life Collection, which is their re-edition of the 1999 original version. So there are a few different models in this. There's the COSC chronometer certified as well as a open heart. Uh, I don't have the manufacturer perpetual calendar that they did, but we did actually have one and it was amazing. There are not really many words to describe that watch. I'll post a uh, link to it in the details below so you can take a look. So we'll start off with the chronometer collection. So we have two of the chronometers, the blue dial and the rose gold dial. So, and they come with the paperwork, which is, I discovered is optional. The COSC does not have to issue these. It is at request of the brands that they supply them and then the brand can supply it to the customer, which is very cool. And they are specific to the mechanism itself not the watch. So the movement inside this watch goes with the paperwork so they don't send the whole completed piece. So this one here is a 41 millimeter case. The whole High Life collection is 41 millimeter. This one is rose gold and stainless steel. The dials again are amazing. The engraved globe What's nice too is it is a dress watch, but they added some loom to it. Because a lot of people will complain that their dress watch has no loom. So they listen. The fit and finish on them is amazing. They're not too thick. Beautiful tapered strap. So the original High Life collection was interesting because it was the custom fit strap, which allowed for a better fit on the wrist where they didn't have to worry about working around lugs for the design. So this new one though, comes on the stainless steel with an included rubber strap. As you can see here on the back, around all the plastic, they added easy remove pins. So unlike the quick release, this is nice because it's the double one. So you have to squeeze both to come up, take it off and to put it on. I like the way the Frederic Constance use the rose gold rotor wheel. And whenever you see a solid wheel like this, it tells you it's not a manufacturer. Whenever you see an open wheel, it tells you it is a manufacturer. So every watch in the collection, comes with an extra strap. That way it's sporty or classy. Again, with the easy remove pins, you get that custom fit look, but a lot less of the headaches when it comes to straps. And if a lot of people like to interchange, there's other options that can be ordered in, including genuine, uh, I believe it's alligator straps instead of the rubber. Nice smooth sweep. So these are all COSC chronometer certified, which less than 6% of the watch industry is. It's sent off to the official COSC Institute. This particular two-tone one is average time, which is very impressive, of 1.19 seconds a day mean daily rate in the different positions. So what chronometer means, it's accurate to minus four or plus six seconds a day in multiple different positions. It is tested for 15 days straight, including weekends, and it's the movement alone that they test. In a controlled temperature, in a controlled environment, in multiple different positions. So the blue dial, Nice navy, very rich. It's 
nice logoing, certified chronometer on the dials. I love the case. It's not too thick, fits really nice on the wrist because it doesn't have the lugs with the custom fit strap. The lug length doesn't affect the size. So it's a nice 41 millimeter, but it's not super long. So it'll fit many different wrists. Nice deployment buckle with the shield logo. Take a look at this one that's not still wrapped in the blue plastic. Strings in the way. So this particular one in the two-tone is $25.95 Canadian, which there's not a lot of chronometer watches in that price range. There's a Longines in about the $2,700 range, if I'm not mistaken. There are other brands that do it, but the majority are gonna be on the higher end, not the entry-level Swiss. So the all steel without the plating is $23.95, which again is very reasonable for the quality, the fit and finish. So the reason we sell the Frédéric Constant are Personally, I'm a fan of them. I've always been a fan of their designs and their price point because very few other companies put out the quality they put out at that price range. And a lot of people will have personal opinions because there's a lot less history to them. They're only about 35 to 40 years old as a brand. They were started independently. They are now owned by the Citizen Group, but still 100% Swiss made. They just have a lot more backing to the company when they want to do research or new initiatives like they've done in the past with the hybrid mechanical smartwatch. So this here is the high life in the open heart on the black dial. It comes in a few different dials, leather straps, steel straps, blue dial, black dial. So this is not a chronometer certified. It is $23.95. Open heart movement. They use a Salita movement, which is modified in-house by Frederick. Same strap. Same wheel. They're all sapphire crystal standards. They really are just a beautiful fit and finish. And I love the open heart, which is again, a personal preference. But for the same price, if you don't like the open heart, you can get a chronometer certified with the closed dial. Case is nice, not too thick, nicely polished as you can see from my reflection. Again, the matching rubber strap, nice ends on it. Took my gloves off so I can show you how to change the strap. It is quick, easy, no tools required. Two fingers on those, the head of the pin, squeeze in. Two fingers on the head of the pin. Same deal to put it back together. Changes the whole look while still keeping true to the sleek design. The rubber straps are nice because they're a little more true in design to the original leather version that they did having the piece up top. Beautiful detailing again, including the strap. And it's a really nice quality rubber. It's a really nice feel to it. Love the taper, it matches the case. This design was, or this collection, the High Life collection was in development for two years to represent what they wanted it to for their history as well as a new design 
Frederick are nice because they're in what's considered the accessible or affordable luxury category. So they make a nice luxury product at an entry level price point, anywhere from 750 Canadian up to the perpetual calendar manufacturer version of these is around the 10,600 range. They go up into the 20, 30, 40, 50,000, depending on limited edition tourbillons, gold cases, but they have a range and you can start collecting a Swiss brand and a quartz or an automatic for less than a thousand dollars in Frederick. The other reason we chose Frederick when we were taking up brands over some of the other is customer service. So they give a really nice after sales customer service. They take care of their warranties quite well. There's not, oh, this isn't covered under warranty. They just, they treat you like you chose their brand and that you want to continue to choose their brand. So this is why I've always been a fan even before we sold them. And people asked for the wrist shot, so I did one on the rubber. Let's do one on the bracelet. So the case and everything is the same size. Hopefully my videos are getting a little better for your viewing. My light in the background, my video setup will progress so that there are less obvious glares and lighting issues. Same as my editing. It all comes. Again, beautiful dial. So there will be links in these, in the notes. They are some of my favorites. If I wore more dress watches, then I would definitely wear one of these highlights. Personally, I have two of the Frederic Constants. I have the vintage Healy Auto Chrono limited edition. That was my first. And I picked this one up at Christmas. It's had some nice wax on it for scratches. This is their manufacturer, Open Heart. I was eyeing this up for a while before I went with it. I love the size of the open heart and that wheel in the back, like I talked about for a manufacturer, you can tell the open wheel means it is an in-house manufactured mechanism. It is not designed, produced outside of the Frederic Constant factories. They have a beautiful deployment buckle for their leathers, also represent a little higher class for specific models. And this is just kind of my go-to for a nicer looking. So personally, I'm a huge fan. I just don't wear enough dress watches to add more of the Fredericks to my collection as I would like. But there is a really nice GMT Auto they just released this year, which I will do a video about in a little while, just to show you kind of the range they do without all being super classy, because it's very yachting inspired. So thank you guys for watching again. Again, we're locally owned in Halifax, Nova Scotia at halifaxwatch.com. If you're in the area, we're in the Halifax Shopping Center. You can come by and visit. And if not, sign up for our emails below to stay up to date for the newest uh, product, sales, limited editions, lots of cool things coming. And I will slowly be continuing to add more videos. I'm going to Today is Monday, it's Thanksgiving. I'm gonna try and start uploading more videos on Saturdays. So keep an eye out, hit the subscribe button and you will never miss one. Thanks for the support. Any questions, feel free to comment, like, share, send us an email and I'll get back to you.